Senator Louisiana Governor Jeff Landry signed the bill requiring the Ten Commandments to be posted in all its public classrooms no later than January 1, 2025, the state was sued for its supposed violation of the constitutional principle of the separation of church and state. This idea was brought up by a Puritan minister and theologian named Roger Williams, who fled persecution from England and its church to the New World. But when he contended that non-religious people should be granted the right to vote and that the state should not prosecute people for violating religious laws, he was expatriated from Massachusetts Bay and forced to flee in the winter of 1636. He eventually found sanctuary among some Native Americans, where he built a colony named Rhode Island, welcoming both Christians and non-Christians established under the principle that the government should not mandate the first four commandments, but was responsible for the enactment of the last six commandments. Oklahoma's top education superintendent, Ryan Walters, has also issued an order that the state's public schools should display the Ten Commandments and teach the Bible. But the lawsuit against Louisiana insists that to permanently post the Ten Commandments in every Louisiana public school classroom will pressure students into religious observance, veneration, and adoption of the state's favored religious scripture. However, the bill states that its purpose is to educate students about historical American documents. It's not impossible, though, for legislation in America and around the world to be passed, violating the gravely important principle stressed by Roger Williams of the separation of church and state. In fact, usually in the aftermath of some global crisis, church and state unite and present to the public their supposed solution to the predicament. For instance, during COVID-19, many governments closed down churches and imprisoned anyone caught outside home. The Bible tells us in the last days, an evil religious power will compel the governments of the world to enact laws that force people to worship God contrary to scripture, leading almost the whole world to embrace the mark of the beast and the Antichrist. See Revelation 13 verses 11 to 18. For more information on this satanic religious power, click the link below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and share this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and to donate. God bless you and we'll see you in the next news broadcast.